You may have the best mobile app idea. It may change the world. It may be a product that's gonna revolutionize blockchain, who knows? But before any of that is ever gonna to come to fruition, one of the main things that you have to focus on is your own personal mindset. Your mindset towards business, your mindset towards your application, towards your own vision of your future for yourself. If you don't believe in yourself and you don't have the mindset, this is gonna be a thing, it's not gonna matter because going through mobile app development, going through software development, blockchain development, the amount of time and mental capacity, the amount of space it takes up in your head can be a lot of times. And they are a lot of setbacks. There's a lot of time that goes into things. There's things that maybe you get to a point in development and we have to pivot, we have to change. Worst thing you could do is start to question yourself, to judge yourself, to lose faith in your project, because we've seen that happen a lot of times and you've got to be mentally strong when you're going to build a mobile app because it's not an easy process. It's not for everyone. Launching a startup is not for everyone, but everybody likes to see the, the success stories, the unicorns. Everybody likes to benefit from the, the startup's software and what they've developed. You know, you use it every day, but you don't realize the pain and the struggle and the time and the mental fortitude that they had to use and to apply every day and look themselves in the mirror and believe in the invisible that this was going to work. You're just benefiting from the product now. You just see the success story on how they work billions of dollars. There was a time when that individual was sitting at a desk by themselves in the dark, writing this out for hours and hours and hours on end, planning this app idea that maybe no one believed in, maybe just a small handful of people believed in, but they believed in themselves and they stuck to it. You know, they had the belief. You know, when you're writing big checks or you're taking on big amounts of money, the responsibility level goes up and you start to question yourself, is this the right thing? Should I play? safe? Should I just put this into, into this? What is my, my significant other going to think of me? Is this going to challenge my relationship? Is this going to hurt my family? Like all these things come to your mind. Okay. But I will say scared money won't make money. Scared money does not make money. What that means is if you're afraid to invest in yourself and you're afraid to write that check for your own app idea, if you're afraid to do that, you're not going to make anything because you have to be willing to let go. One thing is just your own finances, you know, putting things on credit card if you have to. That's, oh, that's a big one. Okay. A lot of people are afraid to go into debt. Oh man, I'm going to go going to debt. What are people going to think of me? Oh my God. You know, the responsibility. Now this is not financial advice. Huge disclaimer. This is not a financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you how to invest your money. I'm not telling you how to be financially responsible. What I'm telling you is don't be afraid to, to use debt to finance your app idea. There's good debt. There's bad debt. Good debt. Is this debt going to make me more money? Yes or no? If it is, yes, do it. If no, like I'm going to buy a TV or I'm buying a car, spending stupid money on credit card. Does any of that make you any money? No, that's bad debt. That's what most people are told not to go into debt because you're taught not to go into bad debt because bad debt is not going to make you money. Go into good debt? Absolutely. I would go in good debt anytime I possibly can. The more debt I can go in, the more responsibility I can take it, the more I can make. The larger my projects are, the bigger impact I can make with our startup. So don't be afraid of that. So when it comes time to make that decision, you have to look in yourself and believe that this startup is going to work. You have to believe in yourself to take on these financial commitments. And at the end of the the day. Let's say it bombs, it fails, you fall flat on your face. A lot of people are going to say, oh, that's a loss. No, it's not a loss. It's a tremendous win because what you gained, which is invaluable, is the experience. You gained that so the next time you could turn around and say, you know what? I can do this again. I've done it once. I could do it again and I could do it again and I could do it again. You're going to be gaining that experience and that belief in yourself that you're going to become unstoppable. Okay. So mindset is huge when you're launching a mobile app, getting into a startup. You have to make sure you believe yourself no matter what because there will be challenging times that you want to give up or you're questioning if this is the right thing to do and you have to look back at the reasons why you want to do it in the first place keep that as a reminder keep that in your forefront of of your vision and it will come true to you just stick with it okay if there's anything that my company can do to help you feel free to reach out to us you connect to me on any of my social media accounts be happy to reach out to you and we go have a conversation schedule a consultation i want to make sure you're one of our 1000 startups we launch in the next five years we have the capacity to help you only if you believe in yourself and we will be there to be right behind you.